you're breaking, of course, but you did shatter those crossbowmen, so that's good. But you're, yeah, you just broke as well. That's bad. Okay. All right, it's going to be all up to our heroes, obviously. This fight got a whole lot uglier than I was hoping, but nothing really to be done about it. Look at this. He's going to end up losing now because he's getting hit from behind by those Jade Warriors. Good morning everyone and welcome back. For anyone new, I play games for the storytelling and challenge, which generally means taking my time, trying to stay thematic, and avoiding exploits. If you prefer min-maxing or speeding through content, then my stuff may not be for you, although you're welcome to join us for a while to find out. In Total War Warhammer, that means using some mods to try to make the campaign and battles slower and harder, to try to fit the brutal world of Warhammer, and also fighting all but the most lopsided battles manually. There's a link in the description to all the mods we're using and why, and another to the Steam Workshop page where you can subscribe to all these mods with one click. For this campaign, we're playing as Kugath Plaguefather, the Fetid Brewmaster, spreading out across the world not for the sake of world domination, but in search of the perfect plague. 
For some reason, humans and dwarves and lizards and everyone else don't seem to want to embrace Grandfather Nurgle's toxic love and are fighting back, which is an annoyance to Kugath, so we'll just have to use more forceful methods, like destroying their armies, capturing their cities, and spreading our corruption to every province we can reach. Okay, so... One thing I want to do right away is check out who Tong belongs to. I don't know if that's going to be... Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. Let's go ahead and zoom in our mini-map a little bit here. Now, one thing I uh, wanted to mention... Oh, hello. Hello there. Well, this is very interesting. Seeing Tsarina Katerin, Katerin right here, um, yeah, so we're about to share a border with, with her, whether we end up taking the last exquisite pain settlement or she does one way or the other, we're going to end up having a border with her, and I'm sure she absolutely hates us, um, and she's ranked 29 with only seven settlements. That does not that does not scare me. I'm sure her army is quite strong, but yeah, I just don't really feel like uh, there's you know like we should change our strategy based on the likelihood of war with her. So, and it looks like Boris is not doing too great, but uh, but Warhammer Rasputin here is uh, he's doing quite well. He's he's third in the entire campaign in strength with seventeen settlements. He is, however, at war with the Vargs. Oh, he's at war with Festus and with uh, Draca. Okay, interesting. And then. So I wanted to check out Tong here. Okay, so Tong is nothing. Tong is a... Is a vassal of, uh, of Archaon's. Okay, so no, no, no big concern right there. Archaon himself is... Let me find him. He steals just the one settlement, strength 52, not terribly worried about him. Wow, look at all of, all of the Warriors of Chaos are really kind of struggling in this campaign. That's quite interesting. wonder if the slower campaign movement is, uh, is the cause of that, or maybe the Ultra Garrisons is, could be part of it. Don't know. Anyway, Chaos Dwarves look like they're doing pretty well overall. So uh, the Skaven, they are doing... Eh, Queek is doing better than uh, than um, Tretch. We got uh, the dwarves here, Karak Kadrin, doing quite well. That's interesting. Grimgore, of course, is quite strong. How's he doing? He's our our relations are still improving with him, but he is so aggressive we can't really trust him. But I think as long as our strength rank is is quite high, he's not likely to see us as as a uh, great opportunity for invasion. So we have uh, the Bloody Swords here. They are at war with... Uh, oh, they're at war with Septiclaw. Well, we'll have to do them for that because Septiclaw is Nurgle. And, uh, okay, and Cathay's still not... Look, Cathay's extremely weak, but they do have 10 settlements. So they're kind of ripe for the plucking. And unfortunately, they're having a... Uh, they're having kind of a uh, partition of Poland moment here where they've got three three strong enemies all around them probably about to divide up their territory. Okay. And we've already looked at Kislev, the Norskins not too worried about them, Reichland and Balthazar doing okay. Let me just go ahead and do, since I'm already on this screen, I might as well just check out the diplomacy now. We got the Star Crushers wanting to make peace. We're not going to do that, of course. So back to this. I'm going to go ahead and see, see about taking this. I'd rather our border be 
a walled settlement than an unwalled one. So let's go ahead and do that. I do, we're, I'm losing Winds of Magic right now. I don't really need the replenishment. And I'm not, lo I'm not losing a ton of Winds of Magic from regular stance. Maybe... We don't know what's in this army, but we know it's not strong. I'm actually... Can I, can I get there in two turns? It looks like I could get there in two turns. How strong is this? We don't know. Let me send out... Septed, I guess. In a little reconnaissance mission here. Okay, now we can see your garrison. The fact that you're walled and you have a 20 unit garrison means we probably are going to want to siege it down a little bit before attacking it. I'll tell you what I'm tempted to do. What I'm really tempted to do is see if, if Katarin takes it. If she does, she'll have brought down the walls a little bit. She'll have certainly significantly reduced the garrison. And presumably her own army will have taken damage. And then we can attack her. Start a fourth war, because why not? Although at that point it would be a third one again, because... Exquisite Pain would probably be wiped out. That's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to go into Ambush Stance here and see what happens between the two of them. And what we're hoping to have happen is for... for Katarin to, to take Karak Doom. Let me just make sure that they are at war with each other. Because they may not be. Exquisite pain is yes, yes indeed. Okay, and then in fact, that's that's all. Uh, they're all that she's at war with. Okay, that's good. That suits us just fine. All right, let's go back to here now. You you do need a little bit of a little bit of replenishment. I'm going to go ahead and grab. Kiang and keep it because they clearly don't have any or we could even head down here now let's does that really say oh I thought it said 42,000 sack value no okay it's just 4,200 all right let's go ahead and take uh, Kiang and we're going to keep it and it's just going to be a field battle now I believe yes okay yeah we'll fight it really quickly here And I just realized I didn't finish the thought that I had started when I got distracted by seeing Tsarina Katarin. And that thought was that there's been a major patch. The 4.2 patch came out. And so whenever that happens, you do kind of have to worry about whether or not something breaks. Now, the mods that we're using, this is why I specifically choose mods that are quite simple. Because they're far less likely to break. But it's, it's not impossible. Now we're going to just basically do this, I think, with our heroes. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, let's get our melee heroes on one. And let's get... Actually, you know what? Change you to two. Once you on one... You guys are on three. Actually, who who's on a rot fly? You, you're my only rot fly. And you have Locust of Contagion. So we want you on four. So, actually, no, we want you on one. No, we want you on four. We might want to move you separately. Okay, so let's get you guys a little bit behind... Okay, let's go ahead and start the battle. Let's go ahead and move 
All of you guys forward a bit. Now, number four here as a flyer. If that's all they have, no, they've got... They've got those crossbowmen and those crossbowmen. We've got plenty of Winds of Magic. Let's, um... Let's drop this. Okay, you can come back in one and two. All you guys keep moving forward. Let's see about getting him over here. Okay, you can come back in. One, now let's get all of you guys charging on in. Gonna go ahead and do all these before I forget. I hit the wrong thing, didn't I? I did indeed, okay. It's pretty dumb of me. Okay, now let's get him on them. Now you guys. Most of you just go ahead and get on them. You can stay on the oh you're on a you're on horseback. I didn't mean to do that. I'll have to I'll have to uh, rectify that, but you should be able to make short work of them. Let's go ahead and just watch a little bit of this. Watch us. Just kind of wreaking a little bit of havoc here with the uh, with the spearmen. Let's go ahead and bring you guys in as well. How you doing up here? You got them shaken, but not broken. Go ahead and get over there. They're broken. You hit them as well. You know what? Get back on them. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, at this point, I think it's all... Elementary or all... Uh, what's, the, what's the term I'm looking for? Oh, you've taken some damage there. Right. Well, that's that ought to take care of it, I think. These, just these guys are left. I don't have any way to heal him. I thought I used this on... Oh, that's a spell resistance. I was thinking it was a... Alright, anyway. Enough, enough of that. Enough of that. At least that kind of a battle of the leadership is not really an issue. Zero losses. That's always good. We took a tiny little bit of health damage to the one plague ridden, but uh, we're going to end the turn inside a settlement, so it'll be fine. All right. Not a ton of money. That's what happens when you attack the same place over and over again. Not a ton of experience either. Let's go ahead and occupy it now. I sound like I'm getting a little bit of a little bit of something in my uh, in my voice. Like I mean, I don't have a sore throat at all, but it, I can tell maybe I've been doing more talking than usual or something. My voice is sounding a little bit strained. Okay, um, well, we'll take those ranks, why not? Okay, let's go ahead and zoom in. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Don't think we need to worry about, about the uh, repairing right now. 
Boy, that would be fairly bad if I end up having a problem with my voice. It's, uh... It's already difficult enough to make videos. Alright, let's see here. Let's give you Deadly Onslaught. And let's give you Deadly Onslaught. And is that it? No, we have a meal, of course. We're giving you Blade Shield. And we're going to give you Rancid Visitations. Okay, so um, we've pretty much already depleted all of our money for this turn. Don't think we're going to have any more battles this turn, but what we could do here... We've got plenty of Winds of Magic. I'm assuming Star Crusher's here. Yes, yeah, Star Crusher's still looking very, very bad. Now, we do want... We have to decide between Replenishment... We could get a little bit more Winds of Magic. We need... Uh, we, we can't reach them to raid them this turn. Do we have any raiding objectives? We do not, but one more recruitment will get us grow your forces. Okay, so let's... We need a strong... We need as strong of a possible... Oh, we, I know what we need. We need uh, Crumbling Ague. That's what we need here. Boom. Done. Yeah, that's gonna... So we need a turn where we are actually replenishing, which means ending in our own territory. And that'll be fine. We're getting the... We're getting our Winds of Magic topped up as well. Okay, so and they do have one army here. That's interesting. Now, one of these guys, who was it? One of you, you, Blish Rorgul, Prince of Buboes. You, I had actually intended to be an agent. And you happen to be at full health. Let's go ahead and send you forward. Let's take a look at this army. Okay. It's not a strong army by any means, but combined with that garrison... It's probably going to be a situation where we're just going to be raiding them for the time being until we get some reinforcements on this front, and that's fine. That's fine. We don't want a campaign where, where we are able to advance in every direction at the same time because, first of all, that's not super realistic in warfare. And uh, thematically, I mean, it's th thematically it's okay, for obviously, for Nurgle to expand, but um, with all the mods that we're using, we wanted to create a a, uh, a less of a super uber aggressive campaign and the fact that the garrisons are ultra does play into how um, how we're going to have to play this so meanwhile back to our our choice of this where where was the frozen one Forget now where the frozen one was. The frozen climate, but it was a five turn one anyway, I think was that it's right there. Strain resistance. Okay. That's that might be worth doing. The touch here might be worth doing. Preferred strain. We do have actually we got more mountains than we have frozen. I thought we already did this one. I really thought we did preferred strain. I guess not. Must be something else I'm thinking of. The rod incubation is a possibility. The fattening seeds possibility. At this point, these are all just more or less nice to haves. They're not, none of them are really a, a super priority. 
Festering gets us what? Just more Nurgle Corruption, but it's only two turns. Kislev, we might want to do this. It's only three turns, and we might very well find ourselves at war with Kislev. So that, I think that's, that's maybe... We want, to, we want to get that before we start the war with them. So I think maybe we're going to do that. Highly Contagious is pretty, it's pretty okay. Despicable Rival, we're not fighting Zinch yet, and I don't think we have any immediate plans to. Pustulant increases the duration. That's not bad, but it's, again, not really a priority. Yeah, let's... let's and then Coronate and Slaneshi factions. Well, considering we're at war with the Slaneshi faction, not too worried about that. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stick with uh, the Kislev, bo uh, boosting our experience gain against Kislev. So you, maybe you'll be able to start raiding next turn. You could actually get in here. What can you do? Assault units. Assault garrison. Not worth the money in either case. The only really reason to do that is to get experience. You cannot afford to assault the garrison. My delights are too much for thee. These are all exalted demonettes. Those are not nothing. You know, that's not a it's not a weak force, however, you know, pound for pound, they're not they're not stronger than our army, but they're stronger than the Nurglings, of course, but they're not, they're not significantly stronger. They're not substantially stronger than the Nurglings with the regeneration that we've got and all the buffs that we give our Nurgling units. Okay, anyway, um, we've got our strategy here. We've got our strategy here. And we've already executed our strategy for this turn here. So I believe then that is, that's everybody, okay. Money-wise, we can't really afford to do anything from a building perspective, but that's okay because of, where am I looking here? This, huge right here. Two more turns and that'll be done. You, we wanna get you bigger. Two more turns, that'll be done. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Looking forward to that. Don't we have a... Don't we have a get... Get a settlement up to tier 5? Objective? We don't. Why is that? Did we somehow already accomplish that? I don't see how we could have. Okay, anyway, I've already... I've already checked the diplomacy. I don't need to do that again. Oh, I know what I want to check. I want to see our our plague situation here. If there's a way for us to get more money from spreading plagues, pig barter. You look like a good candidate for for what? Oh, uh, I know what we want to do is we want to be spreading the booboos, right? This one's at 42, that one's at 41. So we'll do Bubos, and we're doing total favor plus 150. Done. Okay. Every tiny little bit of money helps. Since we burned through more than 32,000 last turn. Damaged building. Oh, so we could afford to repair this now if we wanted to. I don't really think we need to. Okay, let's go ahead and end our turn and see how they react. It's always kind of fun to be juggling three wars at the same time. Definitely not something you want to do at the beginning of a game when you're weak. But as you begin to grow, it becomes more viable. And it certainly becomes more exciting. Oh, and uh, we got the uh, Ambuscador trait for uh, Kugath. 
All right, Grimgore is still kind of hanging out somewhat close to us. Kolek wants peace with us, I'm sure. He does indeed, 1,200. Ha! We're going to decline that. We'll make more than that in two turns of raiding. Exquisite pain. We didn't get to see where they moved. Okay, and I didn't get to see Zarina Katarin either. So, um... Settlement receives plague. Okay, we got a little bit of money out of the uh, spreading of the plagues. And Jaeger here got a level. Okay, how are we looking here? Pre pretty good, pretty good. Let's go ahead and uh, level you up. We'll give you Hero Killing Blow. And we're now going to move you into their territory here. They're not recruiting. That's interesting. This one, uh, uh, it, we, can't, we can't accomplish both, unfortunately. And it's too much money to not be doing this. I'm not going to be super worried about the fact that this one unit is only at two-thirds strength. I can live with it. You can, well, let's go ahead and move you closer. I don't see any reason not to. They're not threatening us with their paltry little army now. Now, one option that we do have is we could get rid of some of our regiments of renown that are quite expensive. But since we're still, you know, we need a strong army to be able to take the challenging stone. I, I hate to weaken it at this point. That giant in particular is quite strong, but you know what, if we're attacking a walled settlement, he's got siege attack or so, he would be quite useful for that. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens over this next end turn, but I'm going to keep him for now. We're getting 818 out of raiding, that's good. That doubled the amount of income that we're getting here. Now here's the interesting thing, what is going on... I don't see Katarin anymore. That's very interesting. And you, you're just kind of hanging out doing nothing. Well, we could actually reach this turn if we wanted to lay siege. But we, we probably can't attack it without uh, actually laying siege for a turn or two and that does expose us then to being attacked from behind the question is do we care here's the first question actually we do not suffer attrition if we move into her territory the, their their territory i don't don't really know whether to say slanesh is a uh, a he she or it okay so let's Let's see whether or not we can... If I move to here... Our Winds of Magic situation doesn't change. We're too far out to be attacked by, by the... Oh, there's Katarin. Okay. Now, they have a hero unit right here. Do you have Assassinate? You do not. Somebody here's got Assassinate. I feel like. So, Oedipus, maybe? No. Okay, you do. Festergax, you have Assassinate. So, with Festergax, if we wanted to... Assassinate, our chance is 65%. It costs a thousand favor to do it. For our level... Our level 26 hero with two ranks of assassinate against a level 4 agent hero. We only have a 65% chance and it costs more than a thousand. I'm not doing it. It's not worth it. Not with my luck. 
Okay, so we're going to stay here, and the, the reason I even considered it is because I don't want this hero pulling us out of ambush stance, but you know what? If it does, it's really not that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and get septed back into this army. We want to be at... at we, we've already accomplished all we need to from the reconnaissance, and we want to be at full strength again, so... Let's go ahead and see what happens for one turn. We need to take care of this army before we can lay siege here because we don't want to be fighting both of them together. Meanwhile, Demon Grog, you are... You are replenishing, which is good. We're not at all being threatened, though. You can actually be... You can actually replenish down here and maybe get in position to attack here. And metal. Now you ha clearly have a garrison building. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, who's our lowest level? Hero here. It would be you. No. Where was it? Right here. So, uh, Wurtborg, we're going to get you down here and taking a look at the situation down here. And one of the things we need to consider is when, as we start expanding, are we going to be getting new borders with any new enemies? And it doesn't look like we will. Okay, so there's no army here defending it. It's just the garrison. Okay, so we're going to move... Do you have... Uh, you need the crumbling egg you as well. Okay, we're going to start blasting through our through our infections at this rate, but it's too useful to not have it, particularly after you take some casualties. So we're looking good there. Let's go ahead and I guess we're already at maximum, aren't we? Let's do this so that they don't even know that we're here. Why not? And... Okay, and then you... You're doing okay with public order even though we haven't repaired that building and even though you've got no garrison or no, uh, no defending army. So I'm not going to worry too much about the public order here. And this is why, because we've already done a nice job of spreading our corruption. Okay. It is, however, going to take you a long time to get to grow. Maybe we need to go ahead and give you... Can we do this all in one turn? We could. 150 for the green pox. We're up to 49 here. That's nice. Let's go ahead. What else does the green pox give us here? It gives us not really anything that we care about, just, just the growth. We could accomplish the same thing with just pox. And, oops, let me clear all this out. Pox and fever. I mean, it's a little bit less growth, but it's going to cost us less infections, and we get the benefit of the plus 150. I'm going to do that. So now we're back to at least growing here. It's going to take a while, but that's fine. We don't have the money to, to uh, be upgrading these buildings right now anyway. Okay, Haunted Forest. Yeah, you're going to end up being a five population growth before we can even afford to get you up to four. Okay, you're doing okay. You're one turn away from being tier five, but we can't afford the additional buildings yet. Yeah, money, money's our biggest concern right now. It's almost tempting to reduce, uh, what's, what's his name again? What's our, uh, D Dungrut? Is that his name? Dungrut, yeah. 
It's almost worth getting rid of these regiments of renown. We can save more than a thousand per turn by getting rid of the regiments of renown, which I like to have available for emergencies anyway. Now I'm gonna keep him for now because I am gonna I'm gonna actually just experiment and lay siege here for one turn just to see what they do and to see what the odds are f for a field battle. I don't think there's any chance at all of the odds being anything but disastrous if we were to attack their walled settlement, but could be that in a field battle we have a better chance. I don't know. What so something to think about. They don't. They only have the level one lord for right now. They do have a uh, a character unit in there, but I don't know. That that feels like it might possibly be a winnable battle with our characters. All right. So back to this. We have two thousand gold, but we have I think nothing to spend it on. Nothing that's really a good use for it. No. No? Okay. Alright, damage building. Yes, we know. Uh, we will go ahead and check the diplomacy again this turn. Looks, looks like nothing particularly has changed, except for they still want peace with us, but it's a little bit less. The more they grow their uh, army, the less they're going to want to go back to peace with us. Which is fine. Okay. And our, we've already spread our infections, I think, or plagues as much as we can afford to. Okay, let's go ahead and do another in turn. Okay. I believe she just did our dirty work for us. Now it doesn't even matter if they pull us out of ambush stance because they have no army to reinforce their city with. What are they doing? Oh, we got... Uh, We got a rogue army down here, or some uh, some beastmen. That's uh, that's something to consider, actually. So we've got three choices with Kugath here. Mission success. Okay. So I did have that somehow. I just didn't see it when I looked through the the objectives. That's interesting. How did I miss it? I was specifically looking for it. The chromatic tome. Yeah, that's, that's fine, okay. The Shield of Tolos, that's good. The Torment Blade, I won't say no to that. And a little bit of Infections, okay. Maybe not quite as much as I would have expected for reaching Tier 5, but it's not bad. Nobly Gorge got Plague, the Green Moon. Okay, that's fine, that's on Demon Grog. And yes, we already looked at those. Okay, all right. So we need more money, but we're going to have some battles this turn, and that will help. So first of all, back to Kugath here. As I was saying, we got three choices with Kugath. One is we just destroy these beastmen, because they're going to be a real nuisance if we don't. Two is, and then obviously after we destroy them, we can turn around and attack Karak Doom, or Karak Dumb. And... Um, that's our other option, is we could, one of our other options is we could just go ahead and attack Karak Dumb. And I think that's probably the most likely option right now. But then, the third option is, we could attack Zarina Katarin while she's weakened here from her battle that she just fought. That is not going to be an easy fight, is it? That would... She herself is at half strength, which is pretty appealing. And some of her units are half strength, which is appealing. 
But that is definitely not going to be an easy fight. Is there any real reason for us to weaken ourselves before taking Karak Dome? I don't think so. I think this is the play. If uh, my... You know, if the Beast Men start heading up this way, that's a concern because I don't trust them. And obviously, Zarina don't trust her. But we're not at war with either one of them right now, so I kind of feel like we should take care of the one that we are at war with. And I think we probably are going to want to give you... If we look at their garrison here... Do they all do... I don't know how to... There's no way for me to click... For me to keep that info card up there. I don't know what that little symbol next to their melee attack is. It looks like a little bit of a Slaneshi symbol. But it doesn't say... It's not magic attack. It's not the same symbol as magic attack. The reason I'm wondering is... If those demons do magic attacks is because... We could use, we could throw up our uh, physical resistance plague here on our army. But it's pointless to do that if all of the enemy do magic attacks. I don't, I just don't know Slanesh well enough to know whether or not they do. I, I kind of uh, am assuming that by default all demons do, but... Like here, our Nurglings do magic attacks, but we actually see the magic attack symbol. Is that true for all of our... Yeah, all of our demons have the magic attack symbol on them. I know some of you know this game better than I do. Yeah, see, these are mortal units, they're not demons. Uh, so those of you who know the game better than I do are saying, come on, you idiot. Of course Slanesh does or does not have magic attacks. But I genuinely don't know off the top of my head. Okay, so now you are... We do know that we can go ahead and do this. We can start raiding with you. I'm going to move you into position to do some damage here against them. Go ahead and get back in the army for whatever that's worth at this point. A little bit of extra raiding income. You are really very weak. We need to be careful that we don't see another army. You know what? For that reason alone... For that reason alone, I think we want to send our scout up this way. Okay, we don't have to worry about Shang Wu because there's no direct path for them to get across. So that's good. Hanyo Port, are we close enough to see it? We are. There's no army in it. Okay, that's good. That is good. And from a from an army, from a military strength standpoint. You're still quite weak, and you still have three enemies, of course. So, no reason to really be too worried about a counterattack from them right now. Okay, so you're where you need to be for your turn. You... I did want to do this. I just want to... Just want to see, oh, they did recruit more. So they're up to 35 units. There's not even any point in us. There's no point in us uh, even trying to find out if we, uh, if we lay siege to them. So we're just going to park ourselves right here, raiding them for the time being. That army is not... We, would almost, we almost want them to come out and attack us. Because we'd rather fight the army by itself, but I really don't see that happening. Okay, and that brings us back to here. I said earlier we were going to fight a battle this turn, and now... Now I'm not so sure. 
Unless I do decide to attack somebody here. You know what we could do is we could destroy these beast men. We'll get a little bit of money out of it. We do run the risk of Katarin attacking us. But she's not replenishing. We're not going to suffer anything like major casualties if we do attack. No, we're going to do we're going to lay siege. There's no reason to start another war right now. We're going to do we have a sing we have no units at all that can benefit from any siege equipment. Which is always the problem with Nurgle, and it, it takes, it makes attacking walled settlements a lot more complicated with Nurgle. Our beast of Nurgle's got, got siege attacker, and then of course Kugat himself. I don't think these guys do. No, they don't. Okay, yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna build it just so I don't get the error message, but. Obviously, they're not, it's not going to do us any good. Continue siege. I'm, I'm not going to... Well, I mean, if I, if I don't get any benefit out of building siege weapons, why am I even waiting? Why am I even waiting? The, the question is, with our depleted leadership, everybody is, everybody's got 12 leadership lower. Yeah, Tom is on our side. We're at full strength. I don't want to weaken myself by, by attacking this and then have Katarin attack us. So I'm going to give this one turn, really just to see what these guys do. And in the meantime, it will be reducing their strength a little bit. So, so that's fine. Okay, now we've got a chance to actually build some more buildings here. I want to build advanced military buildings. We've already got one here. I want to build this. It's 10,000. But if I build that in one of the two slots, I can go ahead and build this. Is this where I want to do it? No, I want to do it down here in uh, Dreadrock. Ooh, we've got another tier here. How much is this? This is an extra 200 per turn. That's 30 turns for it to pay off. A little bit less because it, it gets the extra plus 10% there. That's not what we want. But we want both of these here, so... All right, I think we're going to do this after all. Come back to you. We need one slot for Living Tree of Decay. We'll go ahead and build that. Okay. Now, how are we looking from a plague standpoint? You guys both have plagues. You guys all have plagues. You guys, I don't waste plagues on you. Pig barter, you guys both have plagues, you guys both have plagues, and you have a plague. And you have a plague. Okay, so we got plagues everywhere. We've got the crumbling ague on you, which is not doing anything right now since you're not replenishing, but it's not hurting. We've got the crumbling ague on you. Kugath, we can go ahead and give you just in case we get in a fight with Katarin and we don't need replenishment, I'm going to go ahead and give you Nurgle's Rot. Okay, it's only 75 infections for Kugath, so that's good. Alright, um, skip this. Skip this. Diplomacy. Nothing to do. 
yeah, each turn it's a little less likely that the Star Crushers are going to want to make peace with us, and that's fine. This is really what I'm most focused on this turn, unless something unexpected happens somewhere else. And Katarin goes right away, and interesting, okay. All right. Chaos Dwarves. Hey, they, they, look at that. They built... They did They did have one army down there, but it looks like he's a single unit army. And he's running away, so that's good. So now the, um, the real question is going to be, what does this Beastmen Horde do? And they're probably close to the end of the end turn. Okay, that agent didn't actually do anything to us. Okay, I, di I didn't actually see. So the beastmen are just are just not moving at all. That's interesting. Oh, that's unfortunate. We lost our crumbling ague. Well, at least we got some money out of it. That's going to happen when you have two different competing plagues in the same area. Okay, so we got the bonus experience against uh, Kislev. That's good. And you got the extra one, 150 favor as well. And we got the Caring Groom here has a, has a level. And we still have not lost a single one of our vampiric corruption traits. It is absolutely infuriating. All right. Well, we're gonna let's go ahead and give you your your level here. We could give you increased mobility, but I think since you're staying in this army for now, let's go ahead and give you blade shield instead. Probably should have given him the leadership buff. Can we reach? We can reach. This is going to be a uh, oh in fact he's close enough it's close enough to pull him in as well let's just see what the odds are I'm, I'm I'm still concerned about the leadership situation here it says close victory we wouldn't lose anything if we auto resolved which you know that's the easy way out. The, you know, the, the peasants are obviously not a big concern, but they've got some decent units in there. They will, they'll do some damage to us, but overall, I still feel like even with the leadership problems that we've got, we should be able to win that. Can you reach? You can. So, that, so this is something that we're probably going to want to do. It is going to be a minor settlement battle, however. I'll come back to that in a moment to look at the map. You, there's really nothing else better that I can do with you. That army, I don't worry about that army coming out and attacking us. Even when it gets replaced by Kolek, I don't worry about that. The extra money we're getting from raiding is too good to, to give up on. You at least are not replenishing, so that's good. I'm a little bit uncertain. The, the, the situation hasn't really materially changed since last turn. Still thinking about that. Okay, so what we want to do, we're at, the, uh, we're at an hour now. And this is going to... Uh, let me look at this map. Let me see if this seems like the kind of minor settlement battle that we could do quickly. I think... I think I'm going to go ahead and fight this. It's going to be a long episode, but I don't think people generally complain about longer episodes. So... 
Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and do this and cross our fingers that the that the leadership does not hurt us too badly in this fight. I think we have pretty good wins and magic. We can do a lot of damage with our with our uh, spells here and we can do more if we get them kind of grouped up. So I think that's that's what we're going to do. Maybe at most we'll split up into two different groups. But quite frankly, it might make more sense for us to just do it in one. Let's, uh, let's, we got 22. We can get a nice good blight boil in. Let's start deployment. Where's the widest opening? Right here, it looks like. And it's unfortunate that we lost the crumbling ague because we could have deployed a little bit closer. That that looks like it's about the same. These two are equal. All right, we're gonna go here. We're gonna put two of you here. Two of you here. We're gonna get. Our uh, characters split up here. Let's let's make this our one for now. You are our two. Let's go ahead and get you added to one, and then. Our Chaos Warhounds, for whatever it's worth, you guys can stay down here and see if they, let's see if they put some, some troops down here. And then if they do, at least we'll have pulled some of their troops away and we can always race around to maybe over here or something like that. Okay. And you can beat my five. Okay. Let's, um... Let's start the battle. Let's get... There it goes again. Hate when it does that. Let's get you guys all moving forward. Let's get you guys... All moving forward. Let's get you guys... If all they have are the crossbowmen, I feel like we can we can take out those crossbowmen. Okay, how are we looking here? Let's go ahead and get everybody. I want you on them. Everybody else on one except for you can. Oh, they got that terracotta sent sentinel. What are you doing? You guys all, all here. You guys all here. Okay, let's go ahead and start doing these things. I'm not going to drink the healing potion just yet. Okay, you've taken some damage there. Alright, so you guys... Okay, yeah, you're in a fight now with something that you don't want to be fighting. What are you... Oh, you're fighting... Yeah, let's just get him out of there. Just get out of there. If we can end up... No, come on, come on. I told you to get out of there. Come on, do what I say, please, for once. All right, so where are we, where are we looking here? How are we looking? Okay. Up here. 
Everybody, actually no, not everybody. Let's get you attacking those crossbows. Everybody else, okay. So let's get some spells going here. We got, uh... Don't we have a stream of corruption that we can cast somewhere? Wow, this is ugly. It's not going well at all, is it? Boom, at least you can do that. We don't have any streams of corruption. That's a problem. At least we got them on them. How are you guys doing? Wow, some of you are still not out. That's insane. Okay. All right. You okay? You... We need to be making more headway than this. We're not... We're not making anywhere near the headway that we need to be making. Okay, so let's go ahead and start... Somewhere I saw a... We're going we're gonna to do this. Boom. That ought to do some damage. And you two now try to get out of there. Okay. All right. All right. Looks like we're... Okay. Now at least we can start doing... Spirit Leech on him. Let's get, uh... Let's get that Terracotta Sentinel down. Let's get... Every, kind of everybody who can. Oh, oh, oh! We got, uh... You need to get out. You need to pull out. You're... Oh, you're disintegrating. Oh, no! Oh, no! We're gonna lose the Plague Ridden! Look at this. Look at how... How little... How little uh, effect our melee warriors are having on uh, on them. Okay, can we get another? Any chance at all that you can survive? It doesn't look like it. You're about to be lost completely. How are you guys doing here? All right, we need you back on them. Okay, um, let's go ahead and drink that healing potion now. How are we doing? Oh, we're losing another Plague Ridden. Yikes. That's bad. Heal. Any chance we can save him? Doesn't look like it is still at minus eight. I would love to be making a little bit more headway than that over there. All right, well, this is... This is not going super great, is it? Okay, let's go ahead and... We, we, need, we need to finish this fight right here. We, at least we got rid of the Terracotta Sentinel. All right. This right here... Whoop, not you. You stay on them. This right here is the frustrating thing. It's because of the garrison buff, the scale and garrison buff. They are just way stronger than they have any right to be. Which is fine. That's what we wanted. Okay, can we get you in a position where you could actually use a fireball? That would be nice. How are you guys doing? You're breaking, of course, but you did shatter those crossbowmen, so that's good. But you're... yeah, you just broke as well. That's bad. Okay. All right. It's going to be all up to our heroes, obviously. This fight got a whole lot uglier than I was hoping, but... Nothing really to be done about it. Look at this. He's going to end up losing now because he's getting hit from behind by those Jade Warriors. 
All right, I wanted you to try to get into a position to use your fireball. Let's get you on... Actually, you know what? Do we have anybody who can get on those crossbows over there? Alright, how are you looking? Kinda want you to take care of these... Uh, those riders. We can go ahead and maybe... Does this affect just a single unit? Yes, just a single unit. Who would be that... Who would be... Who would that be good on? Nobody really, okay. You, come on. I, how many times do I have to ask you to move out of there? Okay, so we've lost both of our Chaos Warhounds, but that's fine. That's fine. We got them wavering. Okay, now, finally, you are in a position to use your fireball on them. And then go ahead and charge in as well. How are we doing here? Where, where on earth are you going? Cut them open. Let's get you in oh, here. Child marching. For the earth, father. Okay, we want you hitting yes, these halberdiers. All right. Um. Okay, what's going on here? You gotta be kidding me. You're telling me that you guys can't... You two cannot defeat those halberds. Come on, get rid of them, guys. Get rid of them. How are you doing? You're actually kind of losing that fight, aren't you? At least you're occupying one entire unit by yourself. Okay, so we got a bit of a mess of a fight here. Those, uh, those Jade Warriors are definitely, definitely more than holding their own in a fight like this. Okay, we did at least break them, so that's good. You guys see about doing that. What do we got here? We got plenty of Winds of Magic now, so let's go ahead and get some... Do we have a... We don't have a good area spell, do we? How about... Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Let's, let's hit them. We should have done that before, but if we can take care of these Jade Warriors, that'll be a big win. You guys chase them down. Let's get, uh... Stay on them. I'm not sure what's going to happen when we get to the barricade there. I'm afraid we're going to have to break it down. Well, then break it down we shall. How are we doing here? How are we doing here? That's fine, just stay on them. What are we doing here? They're all running away, go ahead and get on them. You on them if possible. I, I really thought that I told you to hit that barricade. And when I say I really thought, what I mean is I definitely did. Okay, so they're, they're broken, so that's good. Let's get you guys over here. 
You keep chasing them. You guys... All start heading up that way. We're attacking this barricade. It'll come down eventually. What are you guys... There we go, victory. Okay, wow, that what a mess. How many units did we lose? We lost two Plague Riddens, I think. We lost two Chaos Warhounds. And, uh, okay, I don't think there's anything worth worth chasing down at this point. Yep, okay. We lost... Oh, we didn't actually lose the Chaos Warhounds. They just ran away. That's fine. The Plague Riddens are unfortunate. Um, they were both relatively high level. But it's okay. We'll replace them. I think both of those that died were both uh, Death Magic, which I'm realizing now... You don't have any real good area of effect spells with uh, with death magic. So, I mean, the, um, the vortex spell is always kind of unreliable. So, kind of like the idea of maybe getting a, a blight boil caster or at least a stream of corruption caster into this army. Okay. All right. Well... Oh, I forgot about the additional Lord that jo joined the fight, so we didn't get him. Let's go ahead and occupy. Because we need to lick our wounds a little bit. We can do that faster from inside the settlement. Definitely not going to call that a setback, but it is... It was... Uh, and it's definitely not a Pyrrhic victory, but it was a costly victory. We'll, we'll say that. All right. Well, we're going to have to end things here, I believe. We've got enough money that we can at least start build build something up in there. Um, yeah. There. See, this is good. This is what. This is the kind of campaign we wanted. Everywhere by this stage of the campaign. Almost everything has got really strong garrisons, and it's going to make just what like what just happened. It's going to make taking settlements way more difficult than it is in in uh, vanilla, and that's exactly what we wanted. So I'm pretty pleased with how these mods are overall functioning. Don't really have any any real criticism of any of them. None of them have really backfired on us. But anyway, that's uh, that's neither here nor there. Um, for this campaign, we will keep doing a little bit more of what we're already doing. It's going over overall pretty well, I think. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode.